Here's more wrestling news for November 11th, 2021. And your headlines for this afternoon include, She should have been fired years ago. WWE source explains reason to release former Raw Women's Champion. WWE backtracks on naming referee after Paige. SummerSlam plans for Big E and top AEW star revealed. The Undertaker opens up about a possible return for one last match. Becky Lynch reacts to rumors of her joining huge Marvel movie, and more. We are kicking off today with Nia Jax, who had been a prominent feature on WWE TV for years, but that didn't save the former Raw Women's Champion from being cut last week. Since her release, Jax has said that her latest hiatus from TV was due to mental health issues, and the company didn't contact her at all before letting her go. This claim doesn't paint WWE in a positive light, but when Ringside News spoke to their source, they were told that the source had no first-hand knowledge of Jax asking for a longer break to deal with her mental health. However, the consensus backstage is that Jax's release was a long time coming, with the source saying she should have been fired years ago for a combination of her work rate, backstage attitude, and for being considered dangerous in the ring. Despite a reputation for injuring opponents, most notably Becky Lynch in late 2018, Jax was a favorite of Vince McMahon, which explains why she was able to stay around for so long, but had she not been a top priority for the chairman, Nia Jax would have been let go long before this month. Earlier this month, WWE made this strange decision to rename referee Chloe Christmas, who was rechristened Paige by the company. This was a decision made mere days before all her social media accounts were changed, and fans questioned why they'd use the same name as the former Divas Champion who was forced to retire in 2018. Even The Real Page found the situation strange, which she made clear in a tweet, and WWE have now backed down on this name change. On social media, Page the Referee's accounts have all been changed to the name Blair Baldwin, meaning fans won't confuse her with the British superstar. Given that Paige has been with WWE since 2011 and is one of the company's most recognizable female stars, it's still unclear how this mix-up happened, as whoever was responsible either didn't know of Paige or didn't think much of the retired wrestler. Either way, Paige is now the only Paige in WWE today, but if your name is Blair Baldwin, then your chances of making it to WWE just drastically went down. AEW News Now as last night's Dynamite saw Leo Rush make his in-ring debut on the show, teaming with Dante Martin to defeat Matt Seidel and Lee Moriarty. This match was always going to be a huge deal for Rush, who retired from wrestling earlier this year, but it meant even more for the former WWE superstar for a tragic reason. Shortly before the show, Rush tweeted that his grandmother has sadly passed away following a heart attack and the tag match was dedicated to her memory. Rush said how his grandmother had said how excited she was to see him wrestle on TV again, and we'd like to send our best wishes to Leo on this incredibly difficult time. Back to WWE, and this year has been the year of Big E, who is riding high as WWE Champion. Starting the year as Intercontinental Champion, Big E would go on to win Money in the Bank before cashing in on Bobby Lashley on the September 13th Raw. One accolade Big E didn't have this year was a match at SummerSlam, but that nearly happened with a very interesting opponent. That's according to Alex McCarthy, who on the Wrestling Daily podcast said WWE's original plan for SummerSlam would have seen Big E face Aleister Black. The battle of the former NXT champions would have been the culmination of a lengthy feud as Black returned to WWE TV on the May 21st SmackDown, attacking Big E. Obviously, that SummerSlam match never happened as Black was released within weeks of his return to TV, but this huge match is what WWE was hoping for earlier this year. In November 2020, The Undertaker had his final farewell, marking the official end to one of the greatest careers in WWE history. Staying true to his word, the Phenom has kept away from the ring, not competing at WrestleMania 37 as many expected, but next year's show may be more difficult for The Undertaker to turn down. Speaking to Dallas Morning News, the dead man discussed WrestleMania 38, which will be in his native Texas, and was asked whether a one-match return is coming. He responded saying, I think it's always in my head and in my heart, but it's just at a point where physically I can't perform at a high level. I mean, I could go out and walk through something and I could get through a match, but I can't give people what they expect at this point. 
After years of underwhelming matches such as WWE's Saudi shows, The Deadman's last match at WrestleMania 36 has been praised by fans as the perfect match for him to end his career on. The Undertaker may have one match left in him, but it wouldn't be to the caliber fans would be hoping for, and we'll just have to wait until WrestleMania to know for sure if The Deadman stays retired. Now this Saturday, AEW will host their Full Gear event, which will also have a buy-in show on their YouTube channel, with two matches confirmed for the card. It's been confirmed that Nyla Rose and Jamie Hayter will team up and will face Hikaru Shida and Thunder Rosa. And for the main card, it's been announced that Pac and Cody Rhodes will team up to face Malachi Black and Andrade El Idolo after the two sides brawled this week on Dynamite following Pac's submission win over Dax Harwood. We have some concerning news now regarding Adam Pac-Man Jones, who has been sentenced to prison following a bar fight earlier this year. Jones pled no contest to two charges that involved a bar fight from February in Cincinnati, Ohio, in which the local police noted that Jones knocked out a bouncer and went for some staff before being escorted from the building. A former Tennessee Titans football player, Jones joined TNA Wrestling in 2007 when he was banned from play following an altercation with a dancer at a club during which an associate of Jones returned fire to weapon, hitting three people and paralyzing a former wrestler. Despite his NFL contract meaning he couldn't be struck or take a bump, Jones became TNA World Tag Team Champion with Ron Killings, aka WWE's R-Truth. Jones, who pled self-defense for this year's attack, will be sentenced to 180 days in jail, with 150 of those days being suspended, and must now report to prison by November 29th of this year. Now in October, WWE Hall of Famer Hacksaw Jim Duggan underwent successful emergency surgery after being diagnosed with prostate cancer. This has been a difficult time for Duggan, and he's now provided an update on social media. In a statement, the former wrestler said it was humble to see how many people have been checking in on him, but added that he's sadly going to have to cancel all his appearances for the rest of the year. Duggan added that if things are okay, he and his wife are looking forward to traveling the world next year and we're continuing to send our very best to Jim as he continues his recovery at home. And we're ending today with Becky Lynch, who's already established herself in WWE, and now some believe she's set to make a leap to the big screen. This week, a post from the Atlanta Filming Instagram page got fans talking as photos were shared from the upcoming Marvel film Black Panther Wakanda Forever. One photo features an actor who bears a resemblance to the reigning Raw Women's Champion, causing many to believe that Lynch was in the movie. On closer inspection, however, the actress isn't Lynch, and on Twitter, the man poked fun at the confusion, sharing the Spider-Man pointing at himself meme. In the past, Lynch has said that she'd like to get into acting, and has even said that she plans to become bigger than The Rock. So while she won't be in Black Panther Wakanda forever, fans shouldn't rule out that the man may be joining the Avengers at some point down the line. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.